We're not talking about cosmetic companies. We're not talking about pharmaceutical companies. We're not talking about charities. We're talking about beltway abuse, government agencies experimenting on these dogs. White Coat Waste Project sounding the alarm tonight about taxpayer-funded animal testing happening in our backyard. You are paying for it. $20 billion a year in taxpayers' money, $20 billion with a B. It's an incredible amount of money, and we're not getting very much out of it. There's been a complete lack of transparency about how many animals and what taxpayer dollars are actually going to spend money on. Half dozen Veterans Administration hospitals across the country conducting painful experiments on dogs. The White Coat Waste Project was able to obtain incident reports detailing the testing and surgical mishaps conducted on dogs, some as young as six months old. The Department of Veterans Affairs is facing a lawsuit. It's accused of hiding information about taxpayer-funded dog experiments. A watchdog group says taxpayers are funding animal tests for homemade abortions. We prevent the hardworking taxpayer from having their money go to disgusting and extremely outdated and wasteful testing on animals. Is this how you want your money spent? You will soon see billboards like this in the Richmond area. New billboards are taking aim at the Zablocki VA Medical Center. White Coat Waste Project is behind the ads. And this group has a visible campaign to get their point across. It's a nonpartisan issue that in this time of hyperpartisanship is really bringing folks together on Capitol Hill to make progress. White Coat Waste Project is working with Congress members on legislation called the FACT Act to bring some transparency to these taxpayer-funded projects. The VA has been using taxpayer dollars to have experiments on dogs. I firmly believe we should not be using taxpayer dollars to fund painful and unnecessary experimental procedures. My amendment combines three bipartisan issues, puppies, veterans, and government accountability. White Coat Waste Project requesting that you conduct an investigation. The House of Representatives just voted unanimously to defund the VA as the Department of Veterans Affairs' most painful dog labs. The Greater LA Veterans Affairs Laboratory is secretly conducting experiments on dogs. The Department of Veterans Affairs is now stopping animal testing at a VA hospital in Los Angeles. More work to be done because there are three other centers right now, three other Department of Veterans Affairs centers who are still experimenting on these dogs. One down, three to go. What we're doing is working. We can beat all the rest of them. This is the tipping point.